100 days gone in the blink of an eye. City manager Eric Walsh following his mentor Cheryl Scully earlier this year in taking the helm of the city as city manager. Now, after a little more than three months in that role, he fielded questions from KSAT's Cease Romero at an event today at the San Antonio Chamber of Commerce. Garrett Berger tells us about some of what they covered. Garrett. Well, Walsh told us that most of what he's been doing in the past 100 days has had to do with the internal management of city government. However, in a wide ranging conversation that stretched from the new sick leave ordinance all the way to what the city's doing to support asylum seekers in the long term, Walsh talked about some of the issues facing the city. Now, immediately after taking the job, Walsh was thrust right into the into a long running and contentious contract battle with the fire union. With the contract talks currently in mediation, Walsh was cautious in predicting how things will turn out. It's the second largest contract that we have as a as a municipality. Um, we spend over $260 million a year on it. So it's critical to have some certainty there and, and we have a little bit of uncertainty right now. As San Antonio continues to grow, Walsh said the city and council have policies that help target incentives or growth in priority, priority areas. But the bigger framework, he says, is looking at the region's plans for the next five years, which he says everyone should be a part of. We're all connected at the belt loop on that. It's not just the city or the county or, or whoever. It's, it's really everybody. So uh, your avenue into that is through the Economic Development Foundation and, and through the city. Another big challenge that he's going to be facing pretty soon is going to be presenting his first budget to the city council coming up sometime in August. He says he came away from a recent working session with council members with a pretty good idea of where their priorities lie. Now, he and others in city government just need to make it happen. Live downtown, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.